All right, uh, hello all and welcome back. This is part three of creating your own Arch Linux custom spin or ISO and do what you wish with it. So um, if you've been following along, hopefully you watch part, parts one and two. Uh, we're up to, uh, we've already created a graphical interface login and using the Cinnamon desktop. Uh, the next step is to add a user for your live environment. So I have the notes here. And as always, I'll upload them so you can uh, access them. So let's open our terminal and uh, change directory to whatever you called your live environment. I called mine live CD. And as usual, drill is um, when you want to build a new ISO image. Uh, it's a sudo rm-rf work. And wait for that to clear and then out. sudo rm-rf out the ISO file. Okay, so again, as I mentioned, sudo or root will do uh, a text editor. We're going to edit our uh, customized arch uh, root file. So it's uh, leapad air root fs root customize arch air, sorry, I'm so sorry, air fs dot sh file. Okay. And, uh, I'm just uh, to keep it easier, I'll just copy and paste the live user to just under root here. So I'll zoom in. Okay, I'll paste that in. Now the reason I have it like this is to help with the uh, PacBang installer because that's the, that's the way that's set up. That's the way it's set up like this. And uh, this is commented out. And then we had to uh, change the owner of the live user to users and then home slash live user. Because you don't want to be, you know, locked out of your own account. <laughs> okay, so that's simple enough. Uh, for this stuff here at the bottom, you could try network manager service. So you network capital um, N and a capital N, M. Network man manager dot service. If it fails, just take that out and rebuild. As I mentioned before, it's a lot of trial and error, error and experimentation. So if everything looks good, just save and close that file. Okay, and uh, we've already made uh, some. Uh, we've already made our SKL skeleton directory. Uh, we've included the bash RC X and no, we haven't included the bash RC. I'm sorry. We've included X in it, um, X session and bash profile. If you wish, you can just copy your own bash file. So sudo copy uh, slash home your username dot bash RC to slash to air root fs etsy skel. Okay, and if uh, there might be, yes, there will be definitely. So we'll make a, a couple of other directories, uh, dot config and dot local. So sudo mkdir, and they're in the, they're in the skeleton directory, etsy skel and slash dot dot config, and then the same idea dot local, just in case we need them. Whoops. Okay, so again, we should be good to go, I believe. Well, let's edit our packages, I guess. Uh, sudo leapad packages dot both. And here we are. Um, we have our Zorg. We have our virtual box settings. We have our cinnamon. And let's add in some, I don't know, goodies if you want, or what you can call anything you want. As long as it's commented <laughs> out. So what's the uh, terminal? LX terminal. Uh, leaf pad. Uh, and very important uh, xdg dash user dash dirs to create your documents and downloads folders and stuff for you. All right, so that should be enough to get started. There's a lot more you're gonna have to add to this, but that's good enough. So we'll save 
and close. And there's one more thing uh, before we uh, start building our, our new image is we're going to have to edit uh, system uh, D script, I believe. And you can always open your home folder and look for it for it because I can't remember. It's in Etsy uh, system D scripts. Nope. System D this TTY service auto login. So uh, with any luck, let me see. Can we just drag this over? Yep. Make sure there's that spaced out right then auto login.com there we go and where it says root we have to change it to whatever we call the user I called mine live user so live user so now that should auto log its in as just a regular user okay so save and close that and close that out all right uh, apologies I went back to the packages I want to have bash completion so I just added that in under my goodies section. I'll save and close. And now we have to create another directory so we don't get uh, prompted for a password when using sudo. Uh, so we'll go back to my archive here. We have to make a new directory under airrootfs etsy called sudoers.d and a new file called gwheel. So let's uh, sudo mkdir airroot fs etsy sudoers dot t and then we'll just uh, leaf pad on that new file g underscore wheel of course it's blank so just open the archived version and that's all it is no password percent wheel equals all, all, all equals no password so control c or copy whatever and paste that in and save and close and make sure everything's cleared and then uh, hopefully this time uh, we can build this uh, package with their new user live user and uh, no prompt for uh, a password okay so it's the usual thing just answer yes to any of the prompts and then cross your fingers that uh, this will build for you and I'll be back when this is ready to go so there we go again uh, got lucky again uh, 659 megs that's not bad considering so let's uh, fire up our virtual box one thing I strongly suggest when you get to the uh, splash screen here is I'll zoom in press tab a space after arch ISO IMD IMG and type in cow underscore space size equals uh, say two gigs that should be enough uh, that's for trying out different themes and other things you want to mess around with you'll have enough space if not uh, it'll say it'll be run on its space so um, once you've done that just press enter and wait for your live environment to load okay so we're fine and as you see from the last time network manager wasn't working so it did take that setting that we did in the customized uh, air root FS file in the root okay so let's uh, open a terminal LX terminal and uh, let's uh, well, you can customize this underlying background I think you can make it a little bit transparent Oop, not too much though I'll say that uh, font size I'm gonna make that larger everything you're doing here by the way is either in the config file or in the uh, settings the deconf settings and we'll get to that so press OK there we go not too bad so sudo pacman dash capital s y y okay so we're good it didn't uh, prompt us for a password and uh, from by all accounts the network is working so let's see if we can get VirtualBox uh, to run and uh, have a shared clipboard so you can copy and paste into your packages um, as you're building your custom desktop now okay so uh, sudo pacman and you notice the uh, bash rc works so I have aliases in the bash rc so I can type in like instead of sudo pacman dash capital s I just type pack could be anything install add whatever 
So pack Linux dash headers. Oop. There we go. And it should pick up the virtual box and build the uh, modules for us. So as before, we'll just do a pseudo mod probe. Uh, Vbox SF. Okay, so that's good. So just go to your menu and log out and log back in. And there's one package right now, also dash utils. So we'll download and install that. And uh, now we should be able to run also mixer. And you see it's muted, so you press M and then page up to the top, I guess. Escape. And just issue uh, something, a speaker task, dash dash. Uh, dash C2 for two channels, dash T if you want wave to have a voice, front left, front right. And there we go, we have audio working. Okay, so stop right there and go back to your terminal and sudo leapad packages dot both file and uh, let's add another entry. Um, say anywhere you want audio and it's just also dash utils save and close and if we go to your home folder which is Nemo the XTG user DIRs uh, they on uh, were automatically picked up as you see here and you can edit your preferences well, I like to have single click uh, sort sort folders behavior single click uh, image preview as large as you can get it and close let's go to our uh, over settings and I'm not sure where it is preferred there it is preferred applications terminal right here and we'll use LX terminal there I think uh, by default the Keyboard's already set up for that, so Control Alt T, and there we go. Oh, now you have access to terminal with a keyboard shortcut. And I should have uh, left that open. I guess you can type in keyboard. There we go. And shortcuts. If you go to uh, launchers and home folder, if you don't like Super E, you can change that. So just double click and type in Alt H. I'm used to using. So let's try that Alt H. There we go. So terminal, home, and uh, access to a text editor leaf pad. So again, keyboard, shortcuts, uh, custom. This time, add a custom shortcut, name, text, command, leaf pad, add, unassigned. Control Alt N, I guess, and close and see if that works. There we go. Okay, so now we have our customized uh, shortcuts and we can, uh, let me see, des change desktop background. This is pretty cool. Backgrounds. Uh, you can go to settings and say, let's have a slideshow every five minutes or whatever you want. Uh, random images. And so on, or you can have a, you know, you can add a custom directory, and so on. Now, if you don't like the default theme or icons, uh, you can get those. Uh, let's just keep it simple. So, sudo pacman dash capital s new mix dash themes, and let that install and Fienza icon set or something just to get started. After this downloads, and then. Uh, I'm going to do a search, uh, man's, uh, icon theme. There it is. I wasn't sure what it was called. So copy and then, all right, well, that's, uh, uh doing its thing. Um, we'll go back to our packages and theme themes whatever new mix dash themes and 
and copy and paste from the clipboard Vianza icon scene. We'll save and close that down for now. And we'll go back to our virtual box and uh, this will take a bit of time to uh, compile. So we should be able to just customize the look now. Uh, theme, uh, window border, new mix, icons, uh, fans, uh, dark, ambience, darkest, uh, controls, I don't think there's any, ah, new mix, yep. And we don't have any other mouse pointers or cinnamon themes. There we go. Just an example to how you want to theme this. All right, and let's look at uh, our leaf pad settings. And edit, uh, say if you want uh, wrap words, line numbers, your font. I usually like Cant Cantrell Bold 12. Okay, so let's go to our home folder and control L and go to uh, slash dot config. And under leaf pad, there's a leaf pad RC file. And you notice this, the settings have changed. Or it's made some settings for you as I specified just now. So um, this is under config, leaf pad, and then the file is called leaf pad RC. So let's go back to our live CD. And sudo uh, mk dir. Uh, air root fs etsy SKA, skel dot config and then the name of the folder is just leaf pad and then same deal as sudo leaf pad <laughs> or you can put nano whatever and it's the file is called leaf pad rc And uh, from here, we'll just uh, control A, control C, and in our uh, live environment, live CD, uh, just paste that in, save, and close. So that's why we made it a dot config folder, so we can do stuff like this. So if you have a custom setting for LeafPad or your terminal. Okay, so we're nearing the end of this part because uh, I noticed the time is really uh, <laughs> dragging on. I don't want to. Uh, burn you out too much. So, uh, to, to get your all your keyboard shortcuts and Cinnamon Desktop specific, it's very similar to GNOME. Is a dconf uh, dump file, believe it or not. Dconf dump. Oh boy, I can't type today. Uh, just a slash, so it'll write out to your home folder and call it dump, for example dot dconf what did I do wrong oh I'm so sorry well it, it shows you it just showed me what it was we have to put an arrow uh, pointing out to there we go so alt H if you chose that you can open that in your text editor and all the settings we just had as you can see here primary alt N leaf pad and uh, Alt H for the home folder, the terminal, and the pictures. Um, we said the random slideshow, the theme, themes uh, for uh, the window and the icons, and pretty much everything else. Okay, so I'll keep this open and Control A, Control C, and open your uh, text editor and paste that in. And we'll just call it decomp dump anywhere for now in uh, your home folder. Say documents. Decomp. No, sorry, it's a dump. Dot decomp. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to leave you with that. And uh, next. Uh, we'll have to add more packages for functionality and then we'll move on to the PackBang installer so you can install it. Okay, so that should do it for this part and thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon and bye for now.